The Hawaiian shirt has returned! Yes! For its last time before it goes in the wash. So, we are going to be delving into, of course, Jurassic World Dominion. Now, there has been a lot of new things uh, that have came out. Uh, so, I've got a couple of slides that we're going to look through here. Um, now, when it comes to Camp... Oh, not Camp Cretaceous. Uh, Dominion, as in, you know, the movie coming out next year. Um, we've had a, a lot of images that have surfaced. So Dominion coming out next year, the final movie in the franchise, uh, for Jurassic World that is, I'm sure not the final Jurassic movie ever. In fact, some leaked images of the uh, Fast and Furious 9. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with Jurassic World and um, this Fast and Furious thing that's been going on, there's been a bit of a meme that Fast and Furious is gonna team up with Jurassic Park. Uh, they they have, but not in the way you're thinking. So Fast and Furious 9 has came out. Before Fast and Furious starts in the cinemas, they are showing a preview of, I don't know if it's, if it's gonna be in the final movie or if it's just a special. Uh, it's like a four minute uh, video taking place the Cretaceous period. Um, and I think Colin Trevor Trevorrow uh, went on record and said a couple of things like what dinosaurs might be uh, uh, show it, showed in it. Um, uh, if we go to our first image, in fact, uh, it should be this one. This is this is the first image that was thrown up. So, oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Welcome. We started the video now, I think. Uh, Colin Trevorrow put out this image, which is supposed to be part of that Fast and Furious 9 um little preview thing uh now in australia it has actually started to show um and also the entire teaser trailer for jurassic world dominion is out there um now it hasn't officially been published by any official source just or i i've seen clips or i've seen i've seen it from a like a, somebody who's got a camera on their phone and is just like went hey look at this <laughs> so it is out there. I would love to cover it, but I feel if I did, Universal might jump on me. I don't know. I kind of want somebody else to do it first, just to be like, well, they're okay, so I'll be okay. But two images did come out. Photos were leaked as well. Now, I don't think it's too bad. Um, the, the what do you call it? The pictures that have been leaked, which we will go over. Um, I did mention in my last live stream, I had a theory as to what was going to happen. Uh, so if we take a look at the poster, this was one of the official images as well as uh, that one that with Colin Trevorrow posted. It was this one and this one. And from this, I theorized, and I think a lot of other people might have also theorized it, but from, uh, you know, I, I, what I thought anyway, was that we were going to get, and especially with Colin saying this was going to be a flashback to the Cretaceous period, um, this show is not a raptor, it's a, diff it's a different kind of dinosaur, I can't remember if anybody in the comments knows what dinosaur this is. Because we're being shown this, this image, and this poster, what if this was the mosquito that bit the next big dinosaur? Now, I think it might have been confirmed by Colin uh, of what dinosaur is going to be showing up in the Cretaceous period. I think Ankylosaur was in there, T-Rex was in there, and Giga was in there as well. And we've heard rumors and stuff that Giga's going to be appearing. And of course, we're going to get into that. Um, and I had a feeling like, what if this flashback shows a battle between T-Rex and Giga? And maybe T-Rex or, or, the, or the Giga kills the T-Rex, right? Um, and then this mosquito lands on that T-Rex, sucks the blood of the T-Rex, gets stuck in the sap. And then this specific mosquito suck the blood of that T-Rex, which turned into Rexy from Jurassic Park. And then in this new movie, we have this rivalry between a Rex and a Giga. Um, like this Rex kind of like may, it could be that this like two mosquitoes, you know what I mean? Like two mosquitoes, one landed on the Giga, one landed on Rexy. And then th that DNA ended up being extracted. And here we have the uh, the next kind of battle and they sort of recognize each other, you know, because it's like the same kind of dinosaur in a way. At least that was my theory, something like that. I thought that would be quite an interesting one to, to possibly go with. Saying that, that was my last live stream. I mentioned this. True that the original Rex is fighting a Giga in a prehistoric scene. It makes no sense. They were separated by 10 million years and continents. This is the Jurassic Park series we're talking about. <laughs> Did you think we're gonna get, uh, like, accuracy? No. No, don't be silly. This image right here was really big news because it was showing feathered dinosaurs, and in the Jurassic universe, 
dinosaurs did have feathers. And Dr. Wu has said this in Jurassic World, that, you know, if a lot of the dinosaurs were 100% accurate, then they would look very different. So it has been hinted towards that, you know, dinosaurs don't look like this. They look like the feathered dinosaurs. And it's, a, in a way, it's a very clever way to, uh, to get, um, what'd you call it? Uh, feathered dinosaurs into the Jurassic Park franchise. So... We were wondering what, you know, if this is, what, what does a T-Rex look like in this universe, you know, in, in, in prehist prehistory? Um, and we got our first images, or the first images leaked, uh, which we're going to jump to right now. I think it's okay, really, because, I, I, like, my speculation was, oh, it's a, Monos was a genus of Tyrannosaurid from Utah. Oh, okay, thank you, Tyrannosaurid senpai. Uh, you've seen the thumbnail for this video, or, you know, live stream, depending on when you're tuning in. And the first image comes to us. And this was the first image uh, showing a lovely shot of some ankylosaurs or um, ankylosauridia, whatever it is, um, species, some sort of genus, uh, drinking from a shallow watering hole or a lake or something like that. Uh, looking gorgeous. The thing is, I mean, whether or not the the camera picked it up, the you know, how it's very dark. I'm kind of now waiting for like the shutdown from universe to be like, no, <laughs> I've got to just wait for it. <laughs> Pray for me. Uh, I, I, I think, like, I'm not going to show any footage. It's just two screenshots, and they're pretty much everywhere. There's nothing really much to see, except, for, you know, just more of a face of, a, of an ankylosaur. However, the biggest reveal came in the second screenshot, um, which is this one. I'll give you two seconds to absorb what we are possibly looking at here. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not making the same mistakes again. No, no you, you're making all new ones. <laughs> this shows what is clearly um, a T-Rex um, against a something other. Now, it, it kind of looks like a car car, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, car car. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had a oh like an acrocanthosaurus yeah it looks like something like that um as far as other big dinosaurs that um uh the t-rex could really realistically or scientifically accurate come up against what are the dinosaurs were there and the the reason why i was thinking that giga makes sense is when i was growing up when i was a kid um, and I said this in the other live stream, hence the reason why I said these things, is that Giga was the cool new one. Like Spino, uh, when Jurassic Park 3 came out, Spino was like the bigger, the better. I like Spino, you, you like T-Rex, we'll kill each other over it. Um, Giga was the other one. Giga was G-Rex. You saw this with Dino Crisis 2, in fact. Uh, the, the antagonist of that one was really the Giga, uh, who ended up killing the T-Rex in that one. So we're, we're, we're laying down the foundations of the next big grudge match. Jurassic Park 3, you had Spino v T-Rex. This time, in Jurassic World 3, basically, Jurassic World Dominion, it looks like we're going to have T-Rex versus Giga. Uh, so we, we look at a... Like, I kind of changed it a little bit in this image. Just made it a little bit brighter. It's kind of hard to, to really do anything with it because, you know, it is what it is. But if you have a close look... Uh, the Giga, you can actually see its eye there, if, if it is a Giga. I'm assuming it's a Giga. And then you can kind of you can kind of make out that the T-Rex, it is a T-Rex. Like, you, you recognize that silhouette. However, the T-Rex is feathered. It's not heavily feathered, but there definitely are, like, there, there is some texture there. This is what I'm... Uh, yeah, Clayton Fjord Oh, Clayton! Uh, Dino Crisis 2, a Jurassic World story. <laughs> Pretty much! It does feel like we're, we're treading that kind of territory with uh, Dino Crisis 2 here with, the, as you can see, the Giga and the uh, the T-Rex. Now, I'm trying to think what's the best way to have the outcome. One has to die, which is kind of why looking at... not Oh, not that image. Uh, this image, it feels like this is the death. Now, there's a, it could even be just a T-Rex or the Rex, you know, Rexy, lying on the floor with its mouth open, a bit like a crocodile does. And you get little insects there or, or lizards and stuff, little insects, yes, they are little uh, birds or uh, lizards that feast on like the, you know, the remains of things in the in the teeth of the uh, of the crocodile. And that kind of looks like what we have here or it's dead. Now, the reason why I don't think it's dead is because um, it's jaw, it's, it's the bottom jaw by the looks of it. It looks like a bottom jaw. It looks like we see a tongue. So it, if, if a T-Rex or a Giga's dead, it can't just like have its mouth open, right? 
It can't just do that. It has to be lying down and open its mouth. So this is either before the interaction with the Giga, or one of them, and judging by the teeth shape, it looks like T-Rex rather than Giga. I think Giga had more like Allosaurus-like teeth that were more like sharp and razory than a T-Rex that's thick and for crushing. So this looks like a T-Rex. Um, so either the T-Rex got beaten so badly in the battle that its bottom jaw got ripped off, uh, <laughs> which I'm just saying that would be kind of brutal, but in a way builds for the revenge of Rexy against this Giga. Um, it might not even be a case that we see Giga in the future, but we've had, you know, Biosyns coming back. We've heard that. Um, you know, the company who was originally stealing the embryos from Jurassic Park that, you know, sort of double-crossed with Dennis Nedry. So if Biosyn's coming back and we've got dinosaurs out in the world, who knows what kind of dinosaurs that they could have created. Oh, and it could be possible that after this T-Rex dies, after Rexy dies, or, you know, just generally, I, I, I feel like it, we have to have it as Rexy. Maybe, the, maybe this mosquito lands on the Giga sucks the blood of the Giga, and then we see the process of that DNA. So we see the we see the mosquito get stuck in sap, we see like dirt emerge from around the amber to like somebody picking it up, to it then, you know, being being extracted, to being put into a uh, you know some sort of capsule, to then being put in that case that Dr. Wu was leaving Jurassic World with, to then now in another lab, Biosyn's lab, and then we get a, like the similar start to Jurassic World where you had Indominus get coming out the egg and that could be Giga's backstory that's how it could start that's just one possibility and I'm thinking that kind of works um you could do it with Rexy but we need to know Giga's backstory if we're going to build up to you know they had a battle in, in the past and now it's almost like a grudge match it could be a Giga you're right and you can see also the tail of the Giga there as well um or I'm assuming you can see the trees in the background but that definitely looks like the tail of the Giga um so, there's a possibility that, you know, the Giga gets killed then. It's, it's in a way, like, if, if T-Rex kills Giga, then it's almost like a, a thank you to, or, like, uh, to the fans, uh, you know, for the mistake that was Jurassic Park 3, <laughs> in a way. Uh, that's the way that I could see Colin tying it up. Uh, check reptiles. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Stegorex, on the whole, clone having past memories. Maisie doesn't remember being in Lockwood's daughter, exactly, before the incident. So, how does that work? Plot! That's why that works. The plot demands that Rexy remember the Giga that killed her. And just so happens that this Giga is also had a mosquito feed on it. Uh, Timothy Tigertail, it's in the article. Ooh, ooh, we got an article. Ooh, we gotta get this up, guys. We gotta get this up. I don't want to, oh, here we go. I don't want to say anything because then the memes will stop. Uh, reality is just not as much fun. I mean, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Got to see the footage early this week. Uh, up on the Brachiosaur size screen, and it begins with something new for the franchise, an epic flashback to prehistoric times, teeming with all manner of toothy, scaly beasties, plus a buzzing DNA-extracting mosquito or two! There you go! Two! That's it confirmed, then. It's it's gonna be... The, the final battle will be uh, this same Giga taking on Rexy. That's it. Why would you say or two? That has to be has to be. Anyway, uh, after a fierce showdown between T-Rex and an enormous debuting dino, the Giganotosaurus, it cuts to modern day. Oh, wait, what? They did, did they do just say it? What the hell? They just... The series has never gone back in time like this before. Why did you decide to do it? Uh, it was always part of the story. I really want to not just tell an origin story for the T-Rex. But you are, though, Colin. You are telling an origin story. Uh, to really put into visual terms this story that we've been told for 30 years about how dinosaurs were made from DNA fossilized in amber, sometimes we put a human face on things. I wanted to put a dinosaur's face on things and see what actually went down. And now, canonically, we know that the dinosaur that we love, the T-Rex, was brutally murdered by a Giganotosaurus. Brutally murdered by a Giganotosaurus. And that's part of the story we're telling for the film. Why are we still here? You just, just to suffer. You just... Why did you spoil it? Colin! 
I'm assuming this is Colin, right? This is an interview with Colin. Okay. So, so, so not only did Giga not exist in the same time period as, uh, as a, as a T-Rex. Yeah, oh, no. Why did you do it, Colin? Why did you do it? Why did you spoil it? Universal, you will pay for your crimes. <laughs> it's not me. It was your freaking director. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not making the same mistakes. No, you're making all new ones. Oh, hold on! Colin, never mind! Colin says everything! Colin says everything that happens in this scene. Guys, if you don't want to hear it, you can switch off now. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at this. Uh <laughs> so here we go. Uh so the the person interviewing says it's quite hypnotic watching the dinosaurs just doing their thing with without humans around. Can you talk us through some of the creatures in the sequence? You know, just just smile mildly poking at the information, and Colin's like, "Here's everything. Are you ready? Buckle, buckle in." Colin says, "Well, we start with Dreadnoughtus, which is new for the Jurassic franchise, of course, uh, which was discovered not too long ago. Those bones." Okay. And it's one of the great things about being able to rip dinosaurs from the headlines. Colin. C Colin. This is what ha this is what happened to Jurassic Park 3, right? Y you know that. Spinosaurus was just in it because it was like new and it was a big thing. And it was like, wow. Don't do this, Colin. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um, that we're able to see something exciting to do some some research on it. Then build a model and put it in the movies. The Quetzalcoatlus, which is going to be in it, which we've never seen before, which is much bigger than a Pterodon. We're following this massive Quetzalcoatlus, and then it lands, and you see all the Pterodons at its feet, like birds. Quetzal is... I would love to see Quetzal done right. Like, Quetzal is so big and so spooky... I love it. Um, and then it lands on her and realize how big the thing is. And then we have our first feathered dinosaur, the Overraptor. Okay, so the first one on scene is the Overraptor. Again, a new one for the franchise. I feel like that's going to be a bit of a headline for those who care about paleontologically accuracy. Yes, Colin, that's going to be the headline. And not the fact that Giga and T-Rex never mixed. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, another one with feathers. Oh, hold on. Where are we? Uh, I feel like it's going to be... Uh, uh, another one with feathers, which is the one in the picture, is the Moros. Okay, so that's what we see. Um, the Tiny. Tiny T-Rex feathered like dinosaur. And that was one of the quickest turnarounds that we've ever had, or basically, from discovery to putting it on screen. Look, Beavers, you're famous. Jurassic World, if you, Jurassic World Dominion. And then there's my video. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing that's being live streamed. It's probably only up there because this is live now, right? I can only imagine that that's, that's the case. <laughs> or it's just based on your cookies, which is good because that's me. <laughs> so somebody asked Colin, Colin, is the Spino coming back? And Colin, well, yes, it will kill Giga and Spino. In fact, here is the scene. So we start with an open establishing shot of... <laughs> Oh, Colin, that cheeky bugger, what's he like spoiling the whole movie? Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I got a lot of uh, editing to quickly do, but thank you again for joining. And thank you for helping out with this stream as well, like with all of the links and stuff. Because like I said, I wouldn't have known a lot of that stuff. And I think going forward, when we do this drastic sort of news thing, I'll, I'll, I'll like, we'll just do the same. I think this is a much better way of doing it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.